What's up guys, hope you're doing great, it's your boy Kobe Shots. In today's video, we're gonna go through what we normally do anytime you're color grading. And yet again, I'm gonna share with you another LUT that I've created. Anytime I create a new custom LUT, I try to share with you so that you can also follow through what I do. Just like we do it every time, I'm gonna take you through how I color grade my videos easily, shooting on a Blackmagic Pocket Smart camera. As long as a flat profile footage, you can follow through. Just that the color signs might be a little bit different, but if you understand the nitty gritties of the tweaks and everything that you need to go through, as I've showed in several videos that I have in the past, I'm gonna link some of them down in the description below. So if what I'm gonna do over here is gonna look too much advanced for you, you can go check them out before you come through here. But I can assure you that it's gonna still be as easy as always. Let's get right into it. So this is the footage that I have for today's tutorial, okay? It shows primarily skin, okay? And just as I go through every color gradient tutorial, I start off with an adjustment layer so that I don't have to touch the footage itself, okay? So with the adjustment layer, created right on top of the footage. I'm going to duplicate by holding the Alt key on the keyboard, then click and drag upward so that I create another adjustment layer, which is going to ensure that I have two adjustment layers that I can tweak. And if I need to change anything, I wouldn't have to go touch the footage itself. But most of the time I find myself touching the footage itself because sometimes I need to make some adjustment. But for the most part, you realize that I'm gonna be using just these two throughout all right so let's start with the first adjustment layer where i am going to click on the color tab okay it's going to open the color panel the lumetri color panel i'm going to go all the way down to creative then to the look and select browse okay so let's look for the lat that i'm going to leave down in the description below so go check it out if you want to follow through i'm going to also leave the footage also so that you can try it out down in the description below so you can download it too okay so let's look for the lat which is the indoor skin lat isl indoor skin lats yeah, it's a cube file so you can work in all the linear video editing softwares like premiere pro which i'm using for this tutorial so if you're using final cut or davinci resolve you can still apply this lot all right so let's click on it and start it out right off the bat you notice that the skin tone looks pleasing enough so it tells us that you're not going to be doing too much hard work all right so this is the trick for every lot that I create, I ensure that it suits a particular condition or situation, all right? So this footage or this shot was primarily lit by an artificial light. So I had a harsh light coming through a softbox, which is reasonably harsh because you can tell from the shadows that you see down the knee from the hands and the fingers, all right? So it tells you that this light is conspicuous enough and I always ensure that my lighting configuration is good enough so that anytime I apply the LUT, it touches on it. And every LUT that I create, you've realized across the years and across the months that it is always, always, situated on the skin tone because i need to ensure that my skin tone is right so i don't have to push things around and you know that in premiere pro you can't be doing so much as you do in davinci resolve but there's always a safe way to quickly color grade all right so as my skin tone is preserved what i'm going to do is i'm going to do some minor tweaks with the color correction so with whites i'm going to push it just a little bit to the right then a little bit of highlights to open up the shots okay so so far we still look good but i just need a little bit more contrast and so what i'm gonna go of course for its namesake contrast i'm gonna push it all the way towards the right then add some blacks beautiful okay so you realize that the skin tone is popping a little bit more and you also realize that the belly area and everywhere else that you see skin is popping up but one thing i noticed is that it looks too warm for my liking that's a you know personal preference all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to reduce the temperature from warmth to add some cools to it so let's see how it turns out so over here to the white balance selector i'm going to turn the temperature shift it all the way to the left and you realize that it looks colder than before right so you realize that when it was here it was too warm this could be something that you might want to sit with but 
For me, I would like to push a little bit to the left so that the colors are much more separated. All right. So right the skin tone is still preserved and it looks much more true to the eye than before when it had a lot more warmth to it. So to the shadows, I'm going to push a little bit to the left, then add a little bit more contrast and add some whites to make it pop some more. And here we go. So to quickly put this across, there's a difference between color correction and color grading. Where color grading, you have to go through much more, you know, additional moves by the creatives to add some tints, all right, to the shadows and highlights in there, push some colors here and there, which is actually what color grading is all about. But I realized that the only color grading move that we did was to add a lot and I had to just do some minor tweaks to the color correction and I was okay with the results. So here you realize that my lot is purposefully made for this particular shot and every other shot that I filmed during the music video. And so if you have a similar shot, it might work, but it wouldn't always work for every scenario. So when you are using any LUT, you ensure that your tweaks are made according to the situation. If any other footages are there in the pile that looks identical, the LUT will definitely work out the same way with this properties on up across similar footages so yeah thank you very much for watching this video to the very end if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and of course check down the description below for the other videos if you want much more comprehensive videos to understand color grading and how i go through my processes check down there in the description below you find them all and subscribe share across all social media platforms for others to also see this video and also share the lots to friends thank you very much once again i'm gonna catch you next time in the next video have a wonderful day see ya